hey what is going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be creating this cool trippy rgb text animation inside davinci resolve now this animation is quite popular among after effects users so i thought why not you know create a similar version inside davinci resolve now before we begin if you are new here then consider subscribing to the channel uh, you can also like the video and help out the channel and also the YouTube algorithm. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Okay, let's start by dragging in our text plus node. Let's view this and let's type in our text. I'm going to type in distortion. The font that we'll be using is Hanson, but you can use your own font if you want. I really like this font. I really like how it looks. It's quite bold. Looks good for these kind of animations. And after this, text plus no, we are going to hit shift spacebar. This window will pop up. I will add a duplicate node. So type in DUP, duplicate, click on add and view this duplicate node. You can see the name changes over here. Now it's set to duplicate right now. And now we can change the number of copies. Let me change that to six and change the center Y. And you have these copies and we can just move them in any direction. So we'll create an animation out of it. So let's make sure our playhead is at the very first frame. Create a keyframe on center X, Y. And we'll just move, I think, let's move to 60th frame and just move this down like so. Just zoom out a little and maybe something like that. You can increase the number of copies to eight. And let's, let's put a little bit of gap in between these text letters. So we have our text and we have an animation that looks something like this all right once you are done with that you can also go to the spline select these keyframes and hit s on your keyboard to smooth them out hit t on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values we're just going to ease it in to 100 and now if you take a look at this animation it will start fast and then slow down at the end all right cool the next step is to create the rgb color channel so for that we are going to add another node which will be boolean channel booleans the second one click on add let's put this over here so we can also rename this to r for red you can rename it by right clicking on it and click on the rename and you can just easily rename it i'm going to call it r for red and here you can see the operation we are just going to change the to red we're going to make sure it's set to red to green we are going to change that to black to blue we are going to change that to black as well so if you take a look at this we have a red color now and uh, we'll create another version of this so i'm going to copy and paste it and bring it over here let's disconnect this connect this duplicate with this node and again we can rename this to green so i'm going to type in g for green click on ok and this time we're going to make sure that the to red is set to black to green is set to green and to blue is set to black so let's take a look at this and we have a green color again copy and paste this and connect this up this will be your blue so again with the rename tool i'm going to type in b and click on ok we're just going to make sure that the to green is set to black and to blue is set to blue if we take a look at this we have a blue channel all right fantastic now what we are going to do is right now we don't have any kind of displacement in it any kind of wiggly animation in our text so let's create that so for that we are going to add in a displacement node so after we're going to select this node shift spacebar and type in displacement or displace click on add and we are also going to add in our fast noise which is this second icon over here just drag that in and we are going to connect the fast noise with the displace and if we take a look at this displace know this is how it is going to look all right so let's split the view by clicking on this icon dual viewer we're going to view the fast noise on the left side and our displace is on the right side and we are going to change some settings so let's do that the first thing we'll do is we'll change the detail so let's just increase that a bit increase the contrast and uh, also the brightness and you can see some changes are taking place in your text as well let's increase the scale amount as well lower down the detail and we have this sort of look 
but as you can see it is not animating and we can just simply animate it by increasing the seeth rate amount so let's just set that set this to 0 0.01 or something like that and we have this animation going on now we can add another displace node for our green text and the blue text so i'm gonna copy this and paste it over like so the fast noise we're gonna connect the green with the displace and fast noise to this second displace again copy and paste it connect this up connect it with the fast noise as well so you can see that the blue the green text also has this same effect as well as the blue channel all right now we need to merge these three text layers so we are going to add the same node which we used earlier which is boolean channel booleans click on add and we are going to connect the displace with the channel boolean and uh, the second displace as well with this channel boolean so if we take a look at it this is how it is going to look click on the channel boolean and we are going to make sure that the operation is set to add all right so if i click on this displaced node over here and change the position so let's change the center x you can see the red channel in your text and you can like play around with the positioning wherever you want to keep it so maybe somewhere over here looks fine all right so we have the two channels we need the blue channel as well so we are going to add another channel boolean so we can just copy this and paste it over and connect the last one let's connect this up like so and this one will go into this channel boolean take a look at this and we have the blue channel as well you we can go to the displace and change the position so let's bring that down maybe to the right side a little bit it will look something like this so we have all the three colors and we have the rgb split going on in the animation now the next step which is my favorite part is after this channel boolean we are going to add this really cool effect called drip add it let's take a look at it and let's go to the single viewer mode and this is how it is going to look and you can see that we have this crazy crazy movement going on in our animation if your playback is slow you can help your computer by turning off the high quality and the motion blur and your preview will be a little bit faster all right you can see that it looks really amazing so we have the settings over here if you change that to square you can see we get a really creepy and distorted look we have random which is one of my favorites and we have the horizontal and we have vertical exponential star and we have the radial i mean you can just go crazy with this and come up with your own animation so let's um, keep it simple for now let's go with horizontal let me just make some changes to some settings over here like for example the aspect um i really want that stretchy look at the bottom of this edge let's try to achieve that something like this and maybe we can change the dampening and maybe the phase to get that really distorted look really distorted at the bottom you can like go crazy with this and uh, change the amount just play around with these settings and you can just come up with really cool effects so yeah there you go that's how you can customize it i mean you can go back to your fast noise and you know play with different values over here and you can like come up with a really abstract look in your animation heck you can even go to the text plus node and you can do a follower or some kind of crazy modifier into this and create a really nice animation after this trip you can do a shift space bar and add a tool which is glow uh, so you can search for glow and click on add let's view this and you can see that it really enhances your overall animation and really looks cool in my opinion so finally what we can do is after this glow we can add a background node to this so select this node the last one and add a background to this and uh, let's bring this background node closer over here let's view this merge node how it's sitting on top right click on it and click on swap inputs so this is your background and on this background node you can do anything like a solid color or a gradient 
which is completely up to you. Finally, you can just connect the merge with the media out and there you have your animation in the edit page as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, then do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.